Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to discuss modules in Python. And to explain modules, I'm going to take an example from our real life. And I will try to make it very relatable in terms of understanding modules. So basically, modules is something which is created by someone else and you're using that in your program to make it easier and to explain this in relatable terms let's say for example you and I we work in a factory a car factory now I'm your boss and I ask you to make a make a car now, if you have to start from the scratch, which means you have to put together the car, so getting parts for it, getting tires, getting all the machinery involved, the engine, and steering wheel, gears, every single thing, and then putting it together to assemble the car, also doing the paint job and then getting it ready will that be easier or if I can give you a car model already ready but not painted and all you're doing is just painting the car and preparing it for the client which one do you think would be easier whether it's getting the car making the car yourself or just painting the car which has been created by someone else so I put modules in a way that it's something which is created by someone else and it's created in a way that it's the best code for that particular thing so even if you try to make that code yourself you wouldn't be able to make it better you might reach to the same level but you wouldn't be able to make it better so modules I would say is something which makes your life easier now in Python there's internal modules and, ex and external modules as well and internal modules are built-in modules and then there's external modules so I'll take you inside the computer and I'll show you what I actually mean. Okay guys, I'm now inside my computer and I'm going to show you what you need to do to use internal built-in modules inside your Python program and also what you need to do to install external modules and use them in your Python program. So it's quite simple. First of all, let's create a new file. So I'm just creating a new file. I'll just save it as mycute02.py. And as I advised you in my earlier videos, that any Python file that you're using or creating should have an extension .py. And the name should be unique. It should not be exactly the same as one of the modules. So I can't use pandas.py. Otherwise, I'm going to get errors. So make sure the name is unique. Okay. So, first of all, how to use built in modules? To use built in modules, all you need to do is just type import and the name of this built in module. Now you might ask me how do you, how do I know what modules are built in in Python? And for that, you need to go on Google and search for built in modules in Python. And this first link, which is for Python module index, will show you a list of all built in modules in Python. All of these modules are built in 
Python already. And this is a brief description of what it does, what each one it does. And this is for version 3.10.0 in Python. So, as I said, all you need to do is just type import and the name of this module. So let's try using random, which is one of those built-in modules. Let's try using math. So I'll just show you. If I type random, or import black, I can now use the functionality of these modules in my program. So any code which is already embedded in these modules, I can now use them that but that code in my program. So I don't have to rewrite all of this code which is already embedded in these modules and that's the use of these modules. Obviously if I'm typing something which is not in the list of inbuilt modules, so say for example if I type maths, it's gonna show me an error because maths is not a module, math is. So make sure the name is correct when you're importing. So that's it, that's for built-in modules. What about external modules? For external modules, there's few common ones which we obviously use in part. And to use them, I want you to go on your terminal or command prompt and type this command. It's called pip install And whatever the name of this module is, this external module. So I know this view, which is let's import, let's install fast. Actually, prior, prior to installing this, I'll just show you what happens if you try to use an external module and it's not installed in your computer. So if I try to import Flask you will see that it's giving me an error. Even though Flask is a valid name for an external module, it's not installed in my Python. That's why it's showing me an error. Now, to avoid this, if I just go on my terminal and do pip install Flask, it is now going to install Flask in my Python. And it says successfully installed. I can also install another module which is pip install pandas and it's installing right now depending on your computer speed it might take few minutes, but once it shows successfully installed, that means it's installed. So now if I try to write import import task, actually I need to close this file and open it again. I need to close this. See how it didn't give me an error this time. And if I type import pandas, it's 
for giving me any errors. Now, if I run this and I try to install a module which is already installed, and if I type pip install pandas again, and you can see it's already installed, but I'm, I'm just showing you what you will get. It just says requirement already satisfied, which means this particular module is already installed in my pipeline, and I don't have to install it again. So guys, that's it. This is how you install built-in modules and sorry, external modules and use built-in modules in your program and pipeline. Please do like, share and subscribe to this channel. And in the next few videos, we'll be making programs. I'll be giving you the basics of Python and what you need to do to write projects and then we'll be creating some projects together so there's a lot more to come please do like share and subscribe and spread the knowledge and please stay safe thank you